this is probably a weird question, but how do they get things like hourglasses to, like, have the sand flow at exactly the rate it needs to? What the? Ah. Uh... Um, it's a volume know. thing, I think. Yeah, they ju they measure it. Like eventually, they got it right, and then they just broke down the width, the height. Oh, the ratio, so yeah. apparently the whole thing recovers. Well, so this is sand weighs a certain amount. Gravity falls at a certain amount. This volume of sand will fall in this amount of time, which is an hour. Ah, it's mathematics. It's the stuff you learn in school. Oh yeah. It's important now because I can talk about it on a live stream. <laughs> I'm kidding. It just answered your question. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm talking about. Doo -doo -doo. One picture I saw. I have a book. There's this yes. kid, like a like a five year old kid. He's laying down on the tile floor of the kitchen, and the top half of him is on a carpet of the living room. And his food is to the left and right of his pants, like on the tile, and his. Nintendo DS is in his hands, and the caption said, he can't bring his game into the kitchen, and he can't bring food out of the kitchen. So this is what he did. It's like, that's some problem-solving shit right there. Yep. That's literally, like, the fucking problem is like, oh, uh, you have to get these three things across a river. But you can't leave this object with this object. You can't leave this object God with this object. It. And this object God always has it. to be in the boat. What, it's like the grain, the goose, and the fox? Yeah. Fox kids. Yeah. Puzzles. Puzzles. They're puzzling. <laughs> I want to name... I want to have a daughter and name her Mayonnaise. I'll call her May for short. Eventually, oh everyone my. will think her name is May. How am I supposed to... Time they call her May. Is there something I'm missing here? Not really. Mm. This is this is like it's just timing and it's just, this is like Chesty too mm. because I remember Chesty or Chester. Sorry, was a piece of shit like this. Yeah, like on the on the topic of the, I guess they're also logic problems. Like the one I remember is that like there's a group of four people who have to cross a bridge. You can only like you can't have more than two people cross the bridge at once, and certain people are faster than others. I'm just like okay. Get the two fastest ones, and they can carry the two slower ones. But one takes one, and then the other takes the other after the first one's done. Okay, what's the reasoning behind why you can only have two people on the bridge? Is it because it's like <sighs> it, it... a weight limit? I think. Wait. Well, if it's a weight limit, then carrying them across is still going to inflict that. Because well, you're no, still the carrying the weight. One way to person the carrying one person that counts as two. So just yeah. oh. one pair so like, goes, so and then the second pair goes. It's literally so. What they talk about all of these like tactics and stuff is like no, get the first two to go, then get the second two to go, but it's the faster ones guiding the slower ones. Because they never said that you couldn't do that. <laughs> And it's just like, you know what really saves time? Working smarter, not harder. <laughs> not harder, yeah. Smarter, not harder. It's just like, these zombies are gonna eat us unless we cross this bridge in a really specific way. Or, you take him. Are you on the other, side, go. Of the other side of the bridge? There we go. I'm gonna take this guy. Hang on. And none of us are on the bridge now. Fucking run. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> let's run. see. Hmm. I got a bad feeling about this. Don't point Star Wars to me. Oh. Sip. Sip, sip, sip. <laughs> what, what, what'd you I say like about Star Wars? What? Someone said I got a bad feeling about this in chat, and I was like, don't quote Star Wars to me. It's a joke. It's not meant to be taken seriously. Don't my power. Don't oh, try it. Power. I've been. I've been watching a bunch of Star Wars What If videos recently, and also Star Wars fact videos about specific things that I didn't know about, like the fact that in the clone army there were two different sects of fucking basically assassin troopers. One was designed to kill other clones that defected, and the other was designed to kill Jedi and had wrist mounted blades and was therefore really fucking cool. Like commandos? Huh. 
Huh? Yeah, the, the commandos, they have a knife on the back of their hand that when they punch, the knife sticks out. It was in Republic Commando. That might be what you, like... Honestly, no, the, no, 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 the things, the things I'm talking about are like straight up fucking full-sized vibro blades mounted on gauntlets. Like that Predator these assassin something? troopers had. Damn. So, something like that. But like these specialized assassin clone troopers were straight up chosen because they were amoral and would do anything regardless of what it was. Like, I would shoot a baby levels of amoral, and they were like, okay, you're gonna kill your brothers, and you're gonna kill the Jedi, if you need to. Right. If we need to. Cool, thanks. Right. Drop the baby! What? <laughs> do it. Shoot the yeah, baby, like... you must. You wanna play shoot the baby? Like... Don't shoot the baby! Shoot the baby. There's, like, there's... <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in Star Wars that's just scary, like the original concept for the Dark Troopers. Yeah. Where it's just like, okay, the brain, the nervous system, and other essentials of Clone Wars veterans, but it's in a droid body. I see. <laughs> Interesting. That's freaky. Yeah, I thought Darth Vader had it rough. Jesus Christ. No boo Darth Vader boo, had it rough. My skin. It's like Darth yeah. Vader had it rough, at least he got to keep his What do you mean, side. get a freebie? Yeah, exactly. The thing that scared me the most in Star Wars was the Zarlacc pit, because the idea of being digested painfully for a thousand years was... Ooh. You're also cognitively linked to the Zarlacc, by the way. Yeah, something like that. And Boba Fett is the only known person to survive. No, you know what the best part is? According to the Expanded Universe, he fell in again. And escaped again. <laughs> they gotta put Sounds a revolving like door in that thing just for him at this point. Just put a trampoline at the bottom, honestly. Like, you fall in, bounce back <laughs> out. There you go. Also, can we talk about how, of all of the fucking space wizards, galactic tyrants, bounty hunters, the fucking huts, various just semi-immortal beings like the Mortis <laughs> gods, and all of that shit, and Boba outlasted them all. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, something, something, but, um, anyway. Yeah, that was pretty badass. Well, I guess having a jetpack when you get eaten probably helped. <laughs> and a flamethrower. I think the way he Bless escaped... You. I think the way he finally managed to escape the Zarlacc is he overloaded his jetpack to fucking blow it up. Yeah, he kept calling the Zarlacc a bitch or something, and it tightened its grip to make it hurt more, and it triggered his jetpack, and he flew out. I wonder what that must have felt like, to have your food propel itself out of your mouth. <laughs> While calling you a bitch. See <laughs> mm. a turbo was... cunt? God, that was barely anything. <laughs> was like, I was also looking up videos talking about why certain changes to... Um... Wait, fucking... Uh... It, okay, is everyone here caught up with or has no interest in what interest God in watching The Mandalorian. Literally reading No, go nuts. Uh, TV show? Yeah. Uh, I've seen it. Because, yeah. like, if there are people who don't want to be spoiled, I'll stop right now and move on to something else. No, oh, go ahead. I'm not interested. Well, I'm not interested in man watching The Mandalorian, what you're trying to say. Mandalorian, yes. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure that, like, Everyone is okay before I start talking about stuff. E. Speak, man. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm just giving it a moment to, like, see yeah. if anyone in the Twitch chat is like, but no! Well, they it's can like, mute. Oh. You know how to mute. Okay, okay, so if you don't want to be spoiled for the Mandalorian, mute from here until... I don't know. But, um... I watched some videos talking about the way that Boba's armor looks when he appears in The Mandalorian and the significant changes to it that actually reflect cultural cultural Whoa. stuff about The Mandalorian. And it's all really interesting because in the original trilogy of Star Wars, you'll notice that on the side of Boba's helmet, you get a whole bunch of like yellow or orange lines. And apparently that's significant because the color of those lines means different things. And if it's yellow or orange, it's typically about vengeance. 
But then in The Mandalorian, you see Boba, and on the side of his helmet, those same stripes are red. And red is supposed to mean honoring a parent. And that tells you a lot about Boba. <laughs> hmm. Because of what we went through. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Because, like, fucking, he first got his armor a ways in after Mace took his father away. And then yeah. later on, after he got almost eaten by the Sarlacc and was like, he's fucking no, bitch. He switched it up and turned over a new leaf. But it probably had something to do with his cognitive link to the Sarlacc. And he could finally see the forest for the trees instead of the lumber. Hmm. Of oh, course whatever. it's gonna be fucking Peach. She's an easy target. So rude. Fool. Fool. She's such an easy target, she's royalty. Damn. I'm not wrong. I mean, to be fair, if you're royalty, you might as well just paint a giant target on the back of your head. Mm. Say? Sword of Damocles <laughs> type shit. Salute. We had like a what? service. It could be a that, it, that it literally means bless you in Spanish. Okay, thank you. Oh. I'm more than a salute. I'm gonna post something in gaming chat. Again, I also saw some videos talking about ancient Sith in Star Wars. Like, there was this Sith that was literally too angry to die until someone pointed out that he has fuck all to live for, and then he was like, all right then, and then he fucking died. Damn. Oh no, cringe dies. And then there was another one Son who literally ate... Then there was another one who literally ate planets. Yeah. And people hyped him up because he ate planets, but then it turned out he was actually a little bitch because of his over-reliance on eating planets. How do you eat a plant? Does he just sit at the top with a spoon and work his way down? <laughs> well, no, it's, Galactus. no, it's like it's like an essence drain, so he just pulls all life from it. Uh, you crack it open and you suck out the middle while it's still warm. That's I another way to put it. You, you dig... You know, you crack it open like a lobster and you pick out its meat with a tiny little fork. Just a reminder to everybody in the chat, a human being can drink lava. Jesus Once. Christ! Once. It's more of a swallowing. Okay, I guess Gino won't do. I mean, how else do you eat something without swallowing? Ladies. Wait, I think it's- <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. You said <laughs> I think I meant it's more of eating. Sorry. <laughs> Ladies. Oh, fucking ah, Damn it! Open it. Oh, bunny. <laughs> bunny oh my here. fucking god. Oh. Okay, we again. That reminds me. Where I live right now, we currently have bunnies. Gaming chat. And there's a bit, there's a bit of a weird story behind that. Yes. Yeah. So, my mother works at a horse yard, rides a horse, cleans horse, blah blah, all the stuff. Horsing around, yeah. And um, somewhere on the fields, someone found a lost rabbit, and they decided, oh. in their infinite wisdom, to pick up said rabbit with a spade and Wait, just toss it somewhere out of the way I guess for what? whatever reason I don't know just just scoop it away mm -hmm. I would just take the problem and push it somewhere else exactly so my mother decided hey why don't we not do that and one thing led to another we have a bunch of bunnies in our house now in the house. What, Karma. He, what kind of spade did he hit him with? Jesus Christ. He didn't him. hit him. He just, just scooped oh, yeah. him up and him. Was he like the slimes Goldie was fighting in this game earlier where you, you throw him over to the side and five are suddenly just all scattered all over? No, okay. So the yeah, first rabbit. time it was because someone had just 
passed the bunny somewhere like a prick and Ma decided to bring it home and put it in a fucking rabbit thing. Oh. And then she went out and managed to accidentally find another one. So... Oh, come on! Was, Man just out I, of here shoveling rats. Yeah, like... I think there are two or three currently in this little rabbit cage in one of the rooms in our house. And I would be straight up, I like that they are there. But I know we can't keep them. Oh. Because they we're only taking fur and meats for the cost of feeding them. Why can't you have them? Well, no, it's okay. What? The thing about it is uh... serotonin. <laughs> yeah. The thing about <laughs> it is Ma... the thing about it is Ma took them in because she didn't want them to die. She didn't take them in with the expectation of us keeping them. The idea is we'll eventually be able to send them to a home that. <clears throat> And actually look after them in the long term. We're just here for the, you know, you were put in a bad situation, so we're gonna make you not in a bad situation anymore. You're, you're the halfway house. I guess. You're the Excuse Speed me. Bunny halfway house recovery center. Yeah. Like, Ma's always had this thing of, you know, just do nice shit and nice shit will happen. It doesn't work because it never does. But fucking, you know, she's a nice person. She's a good person. Oh, god damn it. Bowser's mute. And I don't want to be the kind of prick to Fuck. say that she's doing a bad thing because she's really not. I mean, if they so were now wild, we have bunnies in our house. Well, I mean, if they were wild, like out in the wild and they've been here for like less than a year and you let them. Holy live, shit! Survive. 1,394? Mm hmm. Good grief! Otherwise, you're just taking wild animals and then putting them in a domesticated animal shelter. Mm. Yeah. Just have them hop around the farm, or... So, I don't know. I don't live there. I don't live there? Okay. I mean, if I could... If, if I could have pets, I would, but... I don't think pets would like living in my house, as I'm not often home. I, I enjoy... Like, I enjoy home. living... Oh, sorry. Oh, that was it. Oh, okay. Well, I enjoy living with pets in a house, but I would never want to own a pet myself. Because I am not good at taking care of things. Yeah. That's I can that, that's understandable. I'm living by myself for two years. I only have the plants because they have fewer needs than animals. And the plants don't care if I ignore them for days on end. Yeah, they... What? <laughs> what? They won't... Oh, okay. Yeah, the plants don't care if I ignore them for days on end. I thought, like, like you weren't watering them and stuff. Like, dude! <laughs> no, they're succulents. They can go, like, two weeks without water. Even longer. Uh, what about the plastic <laughs> plants that you don't have to water at all? Oh, they... hate me. <laughs> How did you piss off plastic? I don't know, man. Oh, well, you know guess... what's funny, though? I've got these little cactus- well, they were little cactuses. They grew straight up. They were like a foot tall. Um, they're in this one windowsill, and you know, they turn towards the sun, so they turn themselves towards the window. I discovered them the other day. Apparently I hadn't checked on them for about two weeks. So, my theory is, they kept growing towards the window, they're tall enough now Damn it. <sighs> that they pushed themselves, they pushed their pot away from the window, and they fell off. And when I found them, they had fallen into another tray of plants, but they had been laying there long enough that they started curving back up to where the sun was coming from. So then they just became question-shaped cactuses? Question mark shaped? We must direct to pull the sun! So, we must survive! I, I picked them up, I sat them back on the sill where they're supposed to be, but they're all like braided together last time I checked. I gotta go look at them again. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. I don't know why was... they would magically be unbraided if you left them braided together, their plants. Well, they're not braided, braided, but they're twisted around. Like in, in a uh, single could, spiral. Could you imagine if someone managed to grow, like, a bunch of plants together in such a way that they braided together no. in that pattern? Hang on. It's that would be braided. the- Let me post the picture. Well, no, no, I'm just- I'm just thinking about what it would be like if it was, because that would- that would be cool to me. <sighs> Here we go, this is what happened. It's loading very slowly, it's gonna be in gaming chat. Ow! Fuck! 
What happened? Are you okay? I hit my, I hit my hand on my fucking... Ow. On something on my desk. You Who's fool, there? you utter buffoon, you simpleton. <laughs> the fuck? What? The plants. 